and welcome to the podcast. Okay, super special episode today. I'm going to be diving in on three, ugh, three, three kids, nature, our ideas, and I'm going to be again giving you something free, a free printable scavenger hunt to go with this that you can use with your kids or the kids in your classroom. All right, so we're going to dive in on three our ideas or lesson activities that, again, you can use in your classroom or at home. And make sure that you check out the podcast show notes, which can be found either in the podcast player description for this episode or below the YouTube video if you are watching me right now on YouTube. So check it out. And my friend, let's dive in and dive in on this episode. You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. All right, so we're going to be again talking about three kids, nature, art ideas for lessons or activities for at home or in your classroom. And make sure you again read to the bottom um, of the blog post show notes for this episode to grab the free printable art and nature scavenger hunt my lovely friend which is perfect for encouraging observational drawing student choice and exploration of choice art mediums so grab a notepad or planning binder and let's dive in on these ideas so that way you can incorporate more nature into your art education. All right, so idea number one is exploring the element of art texture with nature. Okay, so have kids grab something to draw with and something to draw on. So clipboard, paper, something, an art medium. Um, It can even be your sketchbook. And then head outdoors. You're going to have kids like zoom in nice and close. Zoom in um, on different things that are interesting to look at, um, but are of interesting textures. So whatever interesting textures they happen on in nature, um, have them get down and view them nice and close up or get right close to a tree, for instance. Um, They should observe things like tree bark and different rocks, uh, leaves, grass, grass from a distance, grass close up. All these things have a variety of different textures and they should just spend time sitting next to things or things they like, something they like, and then just view them for a while. So spend time connecting senses, observational skills. um, And then once they are satisfied and they feel connected to that thing, um, have them sketch it out with a choice art making medium, or you can direct them and have them use graphite or charcoal, pencil. Um, You can even do watercolor paints if you want. And they should create an observational drawing that focuses on recreating the texture of the thing they're observing. And the other thing that you're going to want to help you use, um, or the other elements you're going to want to incorporate for this to help create texture are line and value. The way the highlights and the shadows are cast and the lines work to create a sense of depth and texture, those are also very important in creating textures. So this is going to not only teach observational skills, we're not only uh, connecting to nature and teaching the element of our texture, but we're really taking those elements of art and having them work together uh, to create another element, right? Uh, Elements of line and value are so important in creating artworks and they really play in into focusing and honing in on texture in this case. So they're all, we're, we're observing them work together, essentially. Okay, speaking of observing, the next idea, observational drawings in nature. Uh, so have students head outdoors and find five things in nature to draw. But here is the twist. Each thing needs to be drawn with a different art medium. So this is perfect for any age from primary up to high school. The level of expectation should change with the ability of the individual students. So that's what's going to change, right? 
my expectations for someone in grade one is going to be very different for the expectation of someone in grade 12. Same art project, same idea where you find five things and draw them with five different art mediums, very different end results. And of course, it's also going to vary for every individual student. And yes, definitely let them have the ability to add their own artist flavor to it. Okay, next is a nature walk. So a stream of consciousness brainstorm. So go on a nature walk as a class or as a family if you're doing this at home with your kids. It could be around the schoolyard, around your backyard, at a park, beach, lake, whatever, on your during a hike, but like not a hike that's really steep where you should not be pulling out pencils and stuff. <laughs> anyway, go on a walk is what I'm saying. And as you walk with something to, again, write on and something to write with, have them record and write down and draw all the things they experience with all their senses. All their senses. No talking, just mindful walking, drawing, um, or writing. All the things that we see, that they smell, taste, they touch. A beautiful way to get new ideas, especially if this is seasonal, then you can use these as recordings of things that we sense in the season that you're in while doing this. You could do this four times a year, um, and then that would be a way of recording seasonal changes as well. This is a highly recommended sketchbook assignment that will truly spark creativity and teach kids to engage observational skills and connect to their senses. All right, my lovely friend, there is a free printable Kids Art and Nature Scavenger Hunt available for you right now. Um, it's super easy. Just go to the show notes, either at the bottom of the YouTube video, if you go in the description, um, just below my typing, you'll see a link to the blog post show notes. It'll say blog post show notes. Click it. Click that link. Or if you are listening to this on a podcast player, Open up the podcast, click the, in the description of the podcast, click the podcast show notes link. It's going to take you to the blog, misartastic.com, and the blog post. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and at the bottom, you're going to see a button and a big title that says free printable kids art and nature scavenger hunt. And there you can grab it. There's a big black button. It says download the art and nature scavenger hunt. Super easy. Click it. You're done. And then you're going to be planned. So you're going to get have kids or you're essentially going to have kids exploring observational drawing while experience experiencing choice of what to draw and mediums to use with this free printable art and nature scavenger hunt. It's super cool. You can photocopy it double sided or have two pages or only use one of the pages. It's up to you. It's ready to go full of the prompts, adequate space for drawing, but not too much where it's overwhelming. So beautiful to just print and go, use it with your family, use it with the students in your classroom, any time of year. And my lovely friend, I hope you enjoy it. That is it for this episode in the comments. I would love to know um, if you did it and what were the results. I'm super excited to hear, so tell me. Tell me all of that. And anyway, this is Kathleen McGivern, Ms. Artastic, signing out. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments, tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more.